Songwriters and producers use loops all the time to start with the creative process or to add texture to a beat or to create an unexpected effect and so on. The Apple loops included with Logic Pro X are royalty free so you can use them in professional projects without worrying about licensing rights. To start building a song using loops you'll need to preview loops and choose which ones to use. The loop browser is the perfect tool for this job. It allows you to browse loops by instrument, genre, mood and other attributes. Press O to open the loop browser or press the loop browser function. Depending on the logic content installed on your Mac, some loops may not yet be downloaded and appear dimmed. You can click the button to the right of any dimmed loop to download and install the loop pack that contains that loop. And you can see it installing here. In the loop browser, click the instrument button and then click all drums. This section here is called the keyword buttons and this section here is the results list. So currently a broad search such as the one we've just done will return a lot of results. So if we wanted to narrow down the search, we can click the descriptor buttons and then narrow the search down even further. Another way to search is to use the quick search. But first of all, I'm going to reset so that I'm searching all of the loops and I'm going to search for a loop called Deep End Beat and download it. Now when I select the loop, the blue icon here turns into a speaker and the loop plays. When a loop is playing, its waveform is displayed at the bottom of the loop browser. To preview different sections of the loop, you can click anywhere on the waveform to move the playhead. At any time, you can click another loop to preview it, or click the currently playing loop to stop it. In the control bar, the information display shows the default project tempo of 120 beats per minute. When a project is empty, Apple loops are previewed at their original tempos. Once a region is present in a project, Apple loops are previewed at the project tempo. In the results list, you can see that the deep end beat was produced at a tempo of 92 beats per minute. Loops usually work best when used near their original tempos. So let's change the project tempo to match. So in the control bar, I'll CD display drag the tempo value down to 92 or double click and type in 92. Let's now drag the loop in making sure that the help tag reads a position of 1111. Your project now contains a single drum loop on a single track that plays for 8 bars. It's the most basic project just enough for you to dive into the basic tasks of positioning the playhead and start and stop in playback. 